Hello, this is Adam Rayner for Slingshot World TV and you're looking at a tin can and some orange clay pigeons and some debris of clay pigeons and some netting because, well, this is the back end of a really fabulous slingshot range as we pull back. We're at a secret location in the home counties. On the right of your picture, such as heaving into view in a disputably socially excluded distance. Not exactly socially excluded, that's when you're being nasty to someone. Socially isolated, meaning at least 10 feet in that direction, is Mr. Mark Clark, the proprietor of Sling City. Now, mate, this is looking absolutely bloody awesome. Tell us a bit about Sling City, Mark. Well, I'll set this up pretty much for this season, um, with our first show being in spring, after we we had a day over at the Game Fair at Hat Hatton House, isn't it? It was a Hatton, uh, Hatfield, that was it, yes. Hatfield, yeah, Hatfield yeah. House. Huge, and, uh, it was massive. They provided the range there, yes. and, and at that point I decided I'd like my own. Yes. Um, but hay bales are a bit difficult to carry around, so you've exactly gone with archery netting. Exactly that. You can't turn up at a country fair or a show, you know, with, with 10 tonne of hay bales. So this is, <laughs> this is my setup. Um, Sling City, archery netting. I've got double thickness of archery netting at the top end. Um, you cannot shoot through this. It is 100% ball bearing safe. You can't shoot a, a steel tipped arrow through this stuff. And that's really what a lot of this is about. So, yeah, uh, yeah. And tell us about these era slingshots, because these, these are Saunders Hawks you've got here. I can just uh, see the pipper sight showing the camera isn't showing the, the brightness of them. But tell us about these slingshots well, that you're using. You know, I put so much thought into what slingshots that I was going to actually use on the range because obviously I'm, I'm a deck with a slingshot and everyone that I rub shoulders with is the same. Yes. Um, we, we can shoot catapults, but I'm dealing with the general public here. Yes. And what I wanted was a catapult that was self explanatory and easy to use that kept the bands a nice safe distance away from your hand. So if you, if you actually see when I'm holding that, uh -huh. there's a nice distance between the, the band and my hand. That's and a all, big piece of the uh, Saunders archery yeah. thing. They've even got handguards for some models, haven't they? Yeah, I didn't go for the handguard because I wanted simplicity, but yes. I also wanted safety. So the fact that, the fact that you're nearly two inches away from your hand, yes. you've, you, you know, you'd have to be really unlucky to hit yourself, yes. to be honest. And then, a bonus, they soon just do these really incredible pipa sights. I don't know whether you can see those. So let's have one of me paw if you've got one loose. Have you, I can, let's I can, see uh, if I can... Uh, I can pop one out. Yes, let's have a little look. I've, I've looked at these in the magazine, but this is... Uh, there are two three-inch sections of military grade fibre. Let's have me pour over here, Dubois. How close can we come? No, just there. drop it. There we go. He did not touch me. They're an amazing little device. They clamp your band in, they act like a band clip. Yes. But in the same, same point as acting like a band clip, they also are your, your sighting method. There's a little level on top so you can actually hold the, hold the catapult dead yes. upright. You shoot gangster, so it's a sideways grip. Lovely, thank you. And um, so you've got, you've got a, lo a lovely side sighting mechanism that suits a novice. It's safe, it's well away from your hand. You can change the bands really quickly and easily. So obviously on the range, with a lot of shots going through, I've got to keep out for looking for band wear. Yes. So I'll change my bands regularly. And I also sort of, um, how can I put it? I just found, I just found a, really, a really lovely catapult for teaching. Yes. Because everything's so self-explanatory, I could watch people, see how they miss. Yes. And how they miss, I can go, right, just, Come up to the, come up to your next optic. Yes. Or come down, come up, come down, or shoot between the this two. Is bang on the philosophy that yeah, Saunders espouses is... about removing the person from the variables. Exactly. That. Which means it's easier. Exactly that. It's awesome. It's Tell it's us about um, the the intent, because of course game fairs are one thing, but parties for the impossible to entertain youth of the home counties was a piece of this, wasn't it? That you'd be able to uh, go along. Um, you've even got feet for your frame if you've got a wooden floor indoors. Yeah, I can set this up indoors. Um, As we are here, of course. Yeah, this, I mean, obviously we're indoors. You're not gonna, I don't want to be making holes through the carpet. Yes. Um, I've got like little rubber bungs on, on the feet. I, can add, I don't have to have 10 metres. I mean, this, this actual range is 11 metres long. Yes. Um, but I don't actually have to shoot for 10 metres. I can drop a bay down and I can shoot like anything from like 3, 6, 9, 12. Um, awesome. So if you've got a smaller garden, yes. 
Because you don't have to, it doesn't have to be that big. Exactly, I can still set it up. Because I want to do like private parties, functions, fakes, yes. kids' birthday parties, you know, you get- Hen like, nights. Exactly, you get, a, <laughs> Hen you get parties. A, a bunch of 12, 13 year old, no. I'll say lads, but lassies as well. Yes. Um, what a lovely way to spend your birthday. And I, I hire it out for birthdays and, and private functions as well. So, Even groups of grown boys. Yes, it would make a wonderful team building thing for a bunch of stockbrokers, it'd be hilarious. Yeah, it is, it is. It's yes. like you can have a team building day on it. Think of axe sewing, but kind of with more accuracy, coolness. Yeah. Mark, thanks ever so much. We'll uh, leave it there and pop the Sling City holding page thing up because I know the website's going to be up in due course. In the meanwhile, you're up and ready. Even if the game fairs didn't happen this year, you're going to be poised for when we're allowed to party again. Mark, thanks ever so much. Slingcity.co.uk. There's a hyphen in there. Thank you, Adam. Thank you very much.